offer to jet you to Miami, Florida to visit Disney World and SeaWorld and have a wonderful holiday. Or to take the big wheel jackpot of 2,000 pounds. Or to feel the wind in your face as you ride the crest of a wave in this fabulous Delgate Dory speedboat with outboard and trailer. The choice, John, is entirely yours. Good luck. OK, John, which of those star prizes are you going to go for? To go with the water skiing, the boat. Right, the boat. <laughs> Great choice. It's been tremendous fun tonight, whatever happens. We're all rooting for you at home here in the studio. Angela, what is this puzzle? Nothing to say, but good luck, Big John, and name this phrase. Three three-letter words. Right, it's a phrase, three words. John, quite relaxed? Yes. Of course you are, yeah. I want you to give me six letters in all, right? Five consonants and one vowel. Now, hopefully, as many of the letters that you choose as possible are going to appear in that phrase, because the more that appear, the easier it's going to be for you to solve and get that speedboat. So, first of all, the consonants, John. Uh, T, N, R, S, and D. And, and the vowel. I'll have no. No. Right. I'm going to put those letters into that phrase. Middle word, blank ND. Last word, blank R blank. You've got 15 seconds to solve it. You can guess as many times as you want, and the boat is yours. Go for it. Leg and arm. Um, phrase, guess, phrase, guess. Second cry. Beaten by the clock, and that is all, because you've been so... You and Cry. You and Cry, that's the one. Now, listen, John. <laughs> there is nothing, listen, John, there is nothing to make a you and Cry about, because you've got the, the weekend in Chester, the ski lessons, you've been mm. a tremendous sport tonight. Amazing. It's been great having you. Well done. You. And you've got a kiss from the <laughs> well lovely Angela. <laughs> what could be better? Listen, great having you, great meeting Thanks. you, all the best yeah. to you. And we'll be back next time with three we more contestants will. on the Wheel of Fortune, and we'll see you next time around. Good night. The end. Today, will you do something amazing for sick and injured pets and play the PDSA Weekly Lottery? Call the number on screen, text ENTER12 to 81400 to play via your mobile or search PDSA Lottery. It's just £1 a week to play with up to 50 cash prizes to be won, including a weekly guaranteed jackpot of £1,000 and you'll be in with a chance of winning a fabulous rollover prize worth up to £10,000. Pets need vets, and we need you to play the PDSA Weekly Lottery today. Now stay safe, darling. Yes, Mum. Look, taxi's here. Holiday call. What's that? That's our very sure alarm. 24-7 monitoring. I couldn't relax on holiday without it. Oh, you'll have to. Sort one out for you when I'm back, Mum. VeraSure Alarms. Get a free security camera and solar panel installed with your Zero Vision Alarm installation. Call now or visit verasure.co.uk. Spend your Christmas in the most magical place on Earth. Harry, wake up! Happy Christmas, Harry. Happy Christmas. <laughs> Professor Dumbledore would like to say a few words. Let the feast begin. This is for you. Thanks, Hagrid. This Christmas, watch every movie from the Wizarding World only on Sky Cinema. It's sort of exciting, isn't it? Merry Christmas, Hermione. Dumbledore asked if I give you something. Where did you get it? Look out for Christmas. 
Sky Cinema Wizarding World. Available now. This man had attacked so many women. There may be as many as a hundred victims. Our voices together would be really powerful. I wanted to have justice. Step into Christmas and as many steps away from the chaser as you can. The Chase, weeknights at 9 on Challenge. Celebrity Wheel of Fortune. Your host, Nikki Campbell. Nikki trots down the steps in an evening suit, complete with a black bow tie. Lots of festive fun tonight, and I know who will be at the top of my Christmas tree. Angela! Oh, yes! Angela wears a pastel pink dress with large ruffled sleeves. She does a twirl on the landing halfway down the steps. Tonight on the Christmas Big Wheel, a deserving cause could be the recipient of a jackpot of £5,000. Thanks to these Big Wheel stars, from Brookside, Brian Reagan. Street, Sue Jenkins. And from the bill, John Isles. The stars tonight on Wheel of Fortune. So you see, a lucky spin of this wheel could mean £5,000 for a deserving cause. Oh, Brian Regan from Brookside, welcome to the Wheel of Fortune. Thank you. It's nice to be here. So what's, so what's Christmas like in the Brookside Close, then? Oh, the usual drunkenness, you know, parties. The Collinses usually have a sherry party, but I won't bother going to that. We'll have to go down the swamp for the bevy. Good for you, and good luck on the wheel tonight. <laughs> Thank All you. right, Brian Regan from Brookside, and moving to Sue Jenkins from Coronation Street, the amazing Gloria, barmaid oh, extraordinaire nice. <laughs> from the Rover's return. Thanks. Tell me, does Alex Gilroy ever buy a drink? Uh, not to my knowledge. He's never done it, no. <laughs> Uh, look, I think you'll find this a lot easier than actually pulling Newton and Ridley pints. At like the to... moment, I doubt it, but I'm going to try very hard. <laughs> Hope the wheel spins with you tonight. Thanks Thank very you. much, Sue. <laughs> and it's, it's uh, John Isles, of course, um, Constable Dashwood. Detective but... Constable. Ah, oh, sorry, yes, Detective Constable. Uh, does, your, does your boss, Detective Inspector Burnside, know you're doing this tonight, John? Uh, he thinks I'm out on observation in the East End, I think. Well, it's very nice to have the uh, long arm of the law spinning the wheel. We'd like to all of you may the wheel spin with you tonight. Now, Angela, oh, Angela, what lovely jewellery you have on, Angela. I'd like I to do. just let you into a secret at home. Angela knew she was going to be wearing some jewellery tonight. What she didn't know until shortly before the show is that that jewellery is actually worth one million pounds. A security guard stands beside her. Angela, it's just, it's, it's just my little treat for you this Christmas. Oh, Nicky, your generosity never fails to astound me. <laughs> and as I couldn't be in safer hands, let's go on to the first puzzle, something less expensive, and it's food. Two words, nine and five. So it's food, Christmas fair. Uh, we drew some crackers before we came on air this evening. It's Brian to start. If uh, Brian answers this general knowledge question correctly, he gains control of the wheel, and then he can tackle that food. Brian, in the song, The Twelve Days of Christmas, how many different kinds of birds are mentioned? Five or six? Six. Six? You have control of the wheel, yes. Partridge, Tortoise, Bird, Geese and Swans. And that's going to be... Um, Fair enough, first spin. Yes, perfectly safe. 150. Pick any letter of the alphabet except for a vowel. A, E, I, O, U. You must pay for it and you haven't got the points yet. Carry on. Uh, D for Dennis. No, there are no Ds. Sue, mm -hmm. on the sixth day of Christmas in the song, do you get geese or swans? On the sixth day of Christmas, my children said to me, uh, six geese are laying. Yes! <laughs> I told you it was easier than killing Newton and Ridley Price. That's all right, that's 150. OK, have oh, a letter, Sue. Um, C for Christine. Two of them. 300. Well done. Two Cs. Oops, yes, if you could. C is the first letter of the first word and fourth in the second. Come on, let's stay on that 900. All right, we'll have 600. Not bad, not bad. Um, H for Harry. No, oh. no H's. All right. What's all this then? John says to himself as he eyes that puzzle. <laughs> John, was it Catherine Hepburn or Humphrey Bogart who was born on Christmas Day in 1899? Humphrey Bogart. Humphrey Bogart is correct. You have control of the wheel. What a nice big spin. 
Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Let's have that 700 coming through. Is it enough for the 700? Oh, uh, not quite. Oh. 350, have a letter. Um, S for Sun Hill. Yes, there's one there. Yes. Well done. First letter of the second word. Remember, it's a food stuff. Come on. That's all right, 400. Um, N for new. Yes, there's one there. Well done, John. Fourth letter in the first word. Oh. Oh, I think it's given it a little bit more. That thousand is coming round, but... Um, um, R for robber. Yeah, three of them. Oh, my word. Second, seventh and eighth in first word. That's uh, 450 altogether. Carry on. Now, we do have a thousand coming round here, but we... Oh, dear. Oh. 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 Yes! <laughs> 200. You're all right. Uh, why for yacht? Yes, there's one there. Well and done, I think I... Can I guess? You can solve it, yes. Cranberry sauce. Cranberry sauce! <laughs> Nikki shakes John's hand while Angela turns the remaining panels. There it is. Wow. Cranberry sauce, well done, John. Right, which, uh, which cause are you playing for tonight? It's, uh, it's for a charity that does a tremendous amount of good work for the rehabilitation and fundraising. It raises the funds into research for mental disability and rehabilitation. And it's the Mental Health Foundation. The Mental Health Foundation, yeah. right. Steve, I think you have something for the Mental Health Foundation. Yes, the Mental Health Foundation told us what was top of their Christmas list. It's this beautiful wine table and chairs, which is destined for one of their homes. Cheers! Well, well done, John Isles, from the bill. Right, let's uh, have a look at the wheel. I'm afraid to say that there is another bankrupt on that wheel. Uh, but there is also another thousand that have added. <laughs> And it's Clean Score's new game. What's this puzzle, Angela? This is something you'll have heard of lots of times at Christmas, so just tell me the quotation. Six words. A Christmas quotation. Sue, it's you to start this time. Did Henry Cole invent the Christmas card or the Christmas cracker? The Christmas card. In 1843, <laughs> yes! Oh, go for it, come on! <laughs> We've got a thousand coming round. It's going to be all right. 350. No. 7. Oh, seven. Seven. oh. <laughs> I spoke too soon, as it were. 700. Well done. Um, C for Christmas. One of them. Yes, Great. one's there. Well done. And again. Oh. First letter of the nine letter last word. <laughs> yeah, that's all right. 500. Yeah. Good. H for Harry. Yeah, two of them. Oh, 1,000. <laughs> Second letter in the fifth and last words. Useful points going here, Sue. Bet would be proud of you. 400. R for Rose. The two of them. 800 altogether. Second letter in the eight letter second word and third in the last. <laughs> 350. Yo. Yeah. Um, S for Sue. <laughs> oh, two of them. <laughs> 700. Last word reads C H R blank S blank 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 S. And M for Martin. That's 500. Oh, there's... Yeah, three of them. 1,500! What's scoring? Absolutely amazing! First word, blank, apostrophe, M. Remember, if you do know it, you can spin on and build up the points, but you risk landing on the bankrupt. I think you're going to land on 1,000 here, you know. I think you are. Go for it, go for it. For Doris? Yes, one's there, one D. Well done. Second word now, D R blank blank M, then three more blanks. What can it be? Well, could I say? Yeah. I'm not going to sing again. I'm dreaming of a white Christmas. <laughs> Angela turns the rest of the panels around. There it is, I'm dreaming of a white Christmas. <laughs> well done, Sue. Thank you. So, Sue. Which, um, which cause are you supporting tonight? Well, I think it's a charity that's close to everybody's heart, really. It's Cancer Research. <laughs> <laughs> I like this game. Oh, you're doing it, so that's good. 
The singing was good as well. I was <laughs> right, Steve, you've got something for cancer research. Yes, while well, Cancer Research asked Santa for a valuable piece of equipment to make their job much easier. This eight-channel pipette will make the job of measuring and testing in cancer patients even faster. But remember, the celebrity contestant with most points banked at the end will go for that £5,000 jackpot towards one of the deserving causes. So let's call up the bank and see exactly what the situation is. Let's do it. Call up the bank! <laughs> Sue, you are ahead right now on the road to that jackpot. But anything could happen. Will Sue from Coronation Street keep the lead? Will John from the Bill catch up? Will Brian get some points? Don't miss the next <laughs> instalment of this drama as it unfolds in a couple of minutes from now. End of part one. For an efficient heating system, take your thermostat X, multiply with your energy use E, then factor in complexity C, and now... Ah, or just go with a heating expert. Smart heating is easy with Valent. Valent, the sign for the right heating decision. This year, so many people won't be home for Christmas. Not everyone has a place to call home, with the comfort of a warm bed and a roof over their heads or somewhere safe to wake up on Christmas morning. Not everyone has a loving family to share their Christmas day. As we celebrate in our own homes this Christmas, please think of those without a home to call their own and help the Salvation Army reach out to them this Christmas. Just 19 pounds could help us give people a fresh start off the streets bring comfort and support to families in poor housing, and get youngsters like Jake started with a place to call home. So please, think of those with no home this Christmas, and call 0800 840 1234 to give £19 to the Salvation Army. Thank you. You should assign me control of your stock. I have to have all the cards in my hand. Well, half the cards are in my hand. What do you want me to say? I must ask my wife for permission? Yes, you can say that. And so, for our son, for Ferrari. Go beat the hell out of them. Another ad for Valent Smart Heat Pumps and Boilers. Nah, everyone knows they're heating experts. I'll do a carrot ad instead. Eat more carrots. They're delicious. Valent. The sign for the right heating decision. Inside this room, all of my dreams become realities. Some of my realities become dreams. Never enough. Never enough. Get it! For me. For me. For me. With Sky Store, you're in for an epic night. There's a chance that when we push that button, we destroy the world. We're in a race against the Nazis. I have no choice. Is it big enough to end the war? To end the war. Six, five, four, three. It's happening, isn't it? Two, one. Oppenheimer. Available now in Sky Store, the ultimate movie collection. Part two. Welcome back to Celebrity Wheel of Fortune. Now, before we play the next game, let me just tell you that I've added another thousand to the wheel in the Christmas spirit that I have. Full <laughs> of the festive spirit. And Angela, uh, you... Let me, oh, listen, Angela, that jewellery, worth a million pounds. Would you honestly go out for a night wearing jewellery worth a million pounds? Of course. What girl wouldn't? Let me tell you, this necklace alone is worth £550,000. <gasps> and now, my Christmas present to you, Nikki. Something less expensive. Our next puzzle, which is entertainment. Three words, four, two, five. It's, uh, it's just what I wanted. Thank you very much indeed. Right, you to start this time. John, was it um, from America or from Turkey that Turkey's first came to Britain? 
America. America is correct. You have control of the wheel. Well done. Nobody knows why they're called turkeys, by the way. And this is coming round to 1,000. Stay, 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 stay. Oh, that's OK. That's OK. A free spin. If you lose control of the wheel, produce that token, and it's a licence back into the game. Carry on, John. Spin again. Yes, yeah, spin again, of course. We don't want it to go onto that bankrupt. We don't. You're all right. I think you're OK. Stop, stop, stop. Stop, stop. 450. Um, L for log. Mm. Noel, Noel, <laughs> the angels did sing. <laughs> I have been waiting for that to happen. <laughs> right, it's you, Brian. Can you uh, score some points here? It, it, it would be nice. Uh, <laughs> none so far. Is it Sweden or Norway that gives London an annual Christmas tree for Trafalgar Square? Norway. Norway, that's right. Well done. <laughs> Oh, come on, let's have a big one. Oh. Uh, oh. <laughs> Two, don't do that. Two hundred. Have a letter. Uh, S for Stephen. Three of them. Oh, excellent. Six hundred altogether. Last two in the first and last letter in the third. Come on. Safe enough. Three hundred. Uh, C for Claire. Mm. Oh. Oh. Sue, there's the carol Silent Night. You can sing if you want to. <laughs> Come originally from Austria or from Russia? From Austria. Yeah! Oh. It was written in German. Oh. Silent Nicht. <laughs> or something like that. Come on, let's have 800. Let's have 800. Let's have a. <laughs> For King. Mm. Oh. All right. Who had a number one hit at Christmas 1978 with Mary's Boy Child, John? Was it Boney M or Harry Belafonte? Boney M. Boney M is yeah. correct. Well done. <laughs> Belafonte had a hit with it in 1957. That's all right. 300. Have a letter. T for Tinsel. Yes, one's there. Oh. Well, then, you can buy a vowel if you want to, if you, if, you, if you fancy buying a vowel instead of spinning. Do I do that now instead of spinning? You can, yeah. I'll yeah. buy a vowel. Buy a vowel, well done. What do you want? Uh, e. E. Mm. No E. No E's. No, there's no E's. Oh, free spin. Oh, free spin token. Well played, yeah. T was the fourth letter in the third word. Pass it along when you've got a minute, John, if you could. Free spin token. I don't know why you're using it twice yeah. now. That would be against the law. Oh, oh nice. Spin it. H for hotel. Mm. Oh! Brian, there's a village of Bethlehem that has a special postmark to use on Christmas cards. Is this village in Wales or Scotland? Scotland. Wales. Ah. Oh! Sue, who sang, if it wasn't you, I'm walking backwards for Christmas? Was it the Goons or Benny Hill? The Goons. The Goons sang oh. it, yes! Control of the wheel, on you go! Five hundred would be nice, and I think we might have to do with three hundred. Uh, That's okay. Have a letter. Three hundred. Uh, P for puppy. Yes, there's one there. <laughs> first letter of the first word. Um. Oh, do I spin again? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Through the thousand. Through the seven fifty. Uh, four hundred. Yeah. Four. <laughs> R for rovers, of course. Mm. Oh, not of course. <laughs> John, premiered. Premiered at Christmas 1937 was Sleeping Beauty or Snow White, the first full length colour cartoon. Snow White. Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. That's the one. <laughs> Come on, let's have a thousand. Let's have a thousand. We're going to go through that. It's all right, though. Good. 400. Have a letter. Infinite. <laughs> and can I guess? Yes, you can. You've got one N, you can guess if you like. Puss in Boots. Yes, sir! <laughs> there it is. Puss in Boots. All right, John. What are you going to do? 
I think it's only fair. I've got one, one present or prize. I think Brian should have this one. Oh. Thank you. The Christmas spirit. Okay, Brian. Well done. Which cause are you playing for tonight? Uh, for Radio Royal at the Royal Liverpool Hospital. That's it. Excellent. Thank you. And I think Steve, an old, an old disc jockey himself, and I mean old, has, um, has something specially for Radio Royal. Yes, Nick, here at the Royal Liverpool Hospital have said their patients like to know what's going on. Well, we are delighted to oblige with the superb Teletext television set. Merry Christmas. Well, things getting really exciting now as we head towards that £5,000 jackpot towards one of the, those deserving causes. Angela, what have you got behind that puzzle board? I'm in such a festive mood, Nicky, that I've got something really good here, and it's a proverb. Seven words. It's a proverb, everyone. Uh, there are no general knowledge questions here. Don't worry about vowels either. I spin the wheel once. You pick a letter. If it's in that proverb, you've got five seconds to solve it. And every single letter will be worth... One! <laughs> oh. All right. See you to start this time, Brian. Uh, T for Terry. Six of them! Six thousand! <laughs> <laughs> oh, drama! <laughs> Five seconds to solve it from now. It's a proverb, remember. No help from the audience? Uh, no. No? no. Nope. All right, Sue. Uh, D for Doris. Oh. oh, John. S for Squad. Yes, one's there. Five seconds from now. No, no idea. Mm. All right. Uh, F for Freddy. Mm. Sue. Oh, uh, B for Bet Lynch. Yes, one's there. Yep. Time has run out, your time has run out. John. Ah, ah for robber. Two of them, 2,000 valuable points there. Five seconds to solve it. From now. No. Oh. Brian. Uh, v for Val. Yeah, two of them. 2,000, well done. Five seconds to solve it from now. It's better to have than to... Mm. No. Sue. Oh, um, <laughs> um, C oh, for I, Carl. I know how you feel. I'm... Yeah, one's there. Yep. Five seconds. Uh, can I do it? Can yeah, I give quick. It? Oh, uh, G for... No, no, it's better stop. to give than to receive. No, time. <laughs> Well, that's a good go, but, you know, it's Christmas and, and you started, so... So I finished. You finished. <laughs> and it's the second Christmas present, and remind us where it's going again. It's going to Cancer Research for more research, which is great. Thank you. Hamilton. Yes, Nikki, as well as gifts, Cancer Research desperately need cash to keep their work going. This Wheel of Fortune check for £250 should help just a little. Great stuff. Well, let me tell you, the moment of truth has arrived. In just a second, I'm going to call up the bank and we're going to find out which celebrity is going to try for that £5,000 jackpot. <laughs> Ladies, oh, sorry, gentlemen <laughs> and lady, it's getting so exciting. Are you ready? <laughs> Let's call up the bank. <laughs> oh, Brian, you've done it! John Isles from the Bill. Have you enjoyed spinning the wheel with the uh, long arm it. of the law? It's been smashing, and I'm so glad the charities have done so well. And I, I can't go without wishing everyone a very happy Christmas from everyone at Sun Hill. So happy Christmas to you all. <laughs> happy Christmas, all. And um, <laughs> Sue. It's been great. I've loved every minute of it. It's Thank been you. smashing. And I would echo what John said. It's lovely that all the charities have done so well. Thank and I you. I love the singing, by the way. The singing <laughs> 
And uh, let me tell you, both of you will go away with this, uh, what can only be described as exclusive Wheel of Fortune watch. You can flash that in the robe's return. Shall do. <laughs> wear that on the beat, but for you, Brian, it's time to leave this wheel and go for a possible jackpot of £5,000. Brian follows Nikki out onto the stage. They then shake hands. Everyone at Brookside is watching, everyone in the close, including the Collins, of course. Oh. Better before, of course, seriously, everyone at Royal Liverpool Hospital right behind you here, all at home, everyone in the studio. Good luck. £5,000 jackpot at stake. Angela, what's this? Just two words and it couldn't be easier. Good luck. And name this person. Both are five letters. She, she says it couldn't be easier. <laughs> now, if she says it couldn't be easier, goodness only knows what it is. <laughs> All right, it's a person. I want you to give me six letters in all, Brian. Five consonants and one vowel. Now, hopefully, as many of the letters that you give me as possible are going to appear in that puzzle, which is a person, because the more that appear, the more easy it's going to be for you to solve <laughs> and to get that £5,000 jackpot. Right, let's have the consonants. Uh, T, B, D, L and F. And the vowel? A. All right. I'm going to put those letters into this person. Blank A, blank T A, then blank L A, blank blank. You've got 15 seconds to solve it. If you do so, you've got that £5,000 jackpot for the Royal Liverpool Hospital. You can guess as many times as you want. Go for it! Santa Claus? Yeah! Oh, yeah. <laughs> Sue and John come across to congratulate Brian. A security guard brings over the large size £5,000 cheque. Angela gives Brian a kiss and hands him the cheque. That is it Thank from the Wheel of Fortune. Merry exactly. Christmas to everybody. <laughs> and with that terrific end, we will see you next Merry time Christmas. around. Good night. <laughs> the end. Whatever you need to ask about cancer, Macmillan's free support line is just a call away. Hello, Macmillan. Whether it's money or work worries. Am I going to lose my job? Getting on with life. Can I still go abroad? Get insurance? Or just need someone to listen? How do I tell them? Our specialist advisors are here to help as often as you need them. Whatever you need to ask, cancer, work, money, life, call us now on 0808 134 3000. Nice if things were better than you ever imagined. <laughs> Join Sky Mobile and get 99% network coverage. Imagine that. Sky Mobile. Hello, possible. Since I became your Chancellor, we have grown considerably as a country. It's time to show the world what we are worth. Madam Chancellor, Corporal Zuberg. You're here because you're a nobody, and that means I can trust you. Um. Without her, nothing makes sense! I bless our love, always. Christmas, while the champions are away.